Hi there. My name is John and I'm the owner of this YouTube channel and I wanted to reminisce today for a few minutes about long acrobatic series that used to take place on the balance beam during the codes of points of the 1980s up through the 1996 Olympics. This was the first time that I ever remember seeing four skills in a row on the balance beam. This is a Katarina Zabo at the 1984 Olympics. The 1989 Worlds were the first time I remember seeing four skills in a row with saltos. This was a French gymnast named Karine Merme. Here's a variation of the same series with a different order of layouts and flick flacks from Alexandra Marinescu at the 1995 World Championships. These long combinations of four acrobatic elements became fairly popular during the 1993 to 1996 Code of Points. Whether the series included two layouts or three layouts, and regardless of the order of the layouts, these series were worth two tenths in bonus or one third of the total amount of bonus needed. The first time I ever saw three layouts in a row on the balance beam was at the 1992 Olympics by both Shannon Miller and Tatiana Lysenko from the United States and the Soviet Union, respectively. At an exhibition in, I think, the year 1995, Dominique Dawes competed four layouts in a row. This series of five elements would not have been reflected in the code of points. On occasion, these occurred as mount sequences. This is Christina Bontas at the 1991 World Championships. Here, an even harder series by Summer Reed at the 94 U.S. Nationals by connecting the BBCD skill, although not in that order, of course, she gets three tenths in connection bonus and one tenth for the D skill. Remember that the order of the skills in the series did not matter. The BBCD connection, which was worth three tenths total in connection bonus, and then, of course, an additional tenth for the D skill, would have been worth four tenths total out of the six total in this code of points needed to establish a 10.0 start value. So it was a monstrous series that gave the gymnasts two thirds of the connection and difficulty that they needed. Speaking of which, you might have caught this earlier. This is that exact connection being done by a French gymnast named Elodie Lussac at the 1994 American Cup. Unfortunately, I think series like these became impossible in the 1997 Code of Points and beyond because of the introduction of a repetition rule. And I discussed this in my other video about the 97 code of points. Basically, the repetition rule said that for connections, a gymnast could only get connection bonus for the same skill twice. Um, the same skill could be performed twice, but it had to be directly connected. So two layouts in a row on the balance beam or two Tkachevs in a row on the uneven bars. This eliminated a series of three layouts. There were a couple of skills that could be repeated for connection bonus on the balance beam, and this is still in effect today. Gymnasts can do back handsprings twice. Um, I don't think that gymnasts can do round offs twice, but a gymnast could include a back handspring in a flight series and a dismount series today and still get connection bonus both times, but not for layouts. That's um, also why the series involving two layouts separated by a back handspring could no longer accrue connection bonus today. The other series, the BBCD connection, that would not violate the repetition rule I just described, but that connection was eliminated in the 97 Code of Points, along with many others, I think, to simplify the number of connections in the code. 
I actually think this kind of repetition rule has been detrimental to the sport. I think that these connections, even though one could argue that they're somewhat repetitive in terms of the skills involved, are much more interesting and maybe much more difficult than some of the connections that we see on the balance beam today. For a good portion of the 2000s, we saw gymnasts doing front aerials into back handspring step outs, layout step outs, which I think is much less interesting and much less difficult than these series. So I say bring them back. Thanks for watching.